But the point is, according to this Gallup poll, we the people in America, for the most part, we get what's going on. We understand what's going on. Because we know Hamas is Hezbollah. We know Hezbollah is the Muslim Brotherhood. We know the Muslim Brotherhood is ISIS. We know that, in essence, they're all one and the same. And I think it is fair to ask the question. And I'm going to ask a question, and I don't ask this question to be controversial, but it's fair to ask this question. Why is it that Christianity doesn't breed armies of terrorists? Why is it that Judaism doesn't breed armies of terrorists? Why is it that Buddhism doesn't breed armies of terrorists? Why is it that Hinduism doesn't breed armies of terrorists? Communism is a form of terrorism in my own view, but that's beside the point. And yet why, and I think it's something that Muslims should struggle with, that Muslims should try to deal with and try and explain. Why is it that Islam breeds armies of terrorists? And why is it that Muslims demand complete ownership of the Middle East when it was first the birthplace of Judaism in Jerusalem? It was second the birthplace of Christianity in and around Bethlehem. And it was third the birthplace of Muhammad. So why are these occupied territories? Because Christians live there and Jews live there and they've lived there, the case of Jews, over 5,000 years, in the case of Christians, almost as long. What's what What territories, I suppose, aren't occupied from this perspective? And why do we never have this debate? And we never do. It's always assumed, okay, Israel's occupied that, they're occupied territory and, uh, and we got to move the Christians out of Mosul. And, and let me ask you another question, and I've asked this during the course of this past week. For all the bad-mouthing of Israel from at the State Department, President Spokes idiot, Kerry himself, Obama himself, have they said anything in a coherent way or beyond just an acknowledgement about the brutalization of Christians? Even to the point have they said anything about the brutalization of other Muslims? Have they said anything about the brutalization of Muslims who fought side by side with us in Iraq? Nothing. They've said nothing. Which is why I contend that this administration despises Israel and that their hate for the Jews in Israel runs deep. And you can see the rise of anti-Semitism all over the world. France in particular. Germany, for crying out loud. London, England, in our own cities here in the United States. And a lot of that, by the way, also has to do with immigration and not closing borders. I mean that. A lot of that has to do with people leaving Turkey and going into uh, England, as an example, and France, uh, and parts of the Middle East. And so this is why you see, in, in, in many respects, these kind of protests. Some of them are quite violent. But the rise of anti-Semitism is, is just, it's just, it's scary. Even in our own country. And the president has yet to give a statement, a speech about that. And I pointed this out weeks ago. Weeks ago. I mean, the truth is this country is obviously not a theocracy, but the overwhelming majority of citizens of this country are Christian. Would it be so awful if Obama spoke out? against terrorist organizations in the Middle East and insisted that they stop creating a Christian refugee crisis, stop destroying Christian and Jewish artifacts, stop slaughtering Christians, uh, stop brutalizing women? Would it be so awful? And so why don't they? And by the way, Israel sees this. Israel sees this. Israel knows about how interconnected uh, many of these terrorist organizations are and what their history is. And so this idea, you have the right to defend yourself, but means you really don't have the right to defend yourself when it comes to the politicians in the Obama administration. You have the right to shoot missiles, but only if you have such an exact uh, aim uh, that you only kill perpetrators. Now, how do you do that against barbarians who have as their main aim not your military, but your citizenry, daycare centers and elementary schools? Tell me, how many missiles do the Israelis hide in their elementary schools? None. How many missiles do the Israelis hide in their hospitals? None. 
How many missiles do the Israelis hide in U.S. buildings, if there are any, excuse me, U.N. buildings, if there are any in Israel? Well, they wouldn't hide any. And yet these are the preferred installations for uh, for the Hamas whole uh, regime to uh, protect its uh, its weaponry. Pretty crazy, isn't it? But the point is the American people on the whole are not fooled by any of this. And there was a survey the other day, it was Pew, in that particular one, that said 29% of Democrats uh, believe the... Uh, the Israelis are in the right, and 26 of Democrats percent believe uh, that the Palestinians are in the right. I believe I have those numbers correct. 60% of Republicans backed Israel. So even in these figures now from Gallup, 66% believe that the Palestinian actions against Israel are unjustified. How much you want to bet most of those are Republicans? There's really no question about it. 